there a very warm welcome to this week edition of our splendid show my name is glory okun we have been sharing some exciting videos from our kwaba african travel market on our social media platforms for the past few days now is the time for you to enjoy more from that captivating program the biggest tourism fair in africa enjoy it i'll be right back This was the beginning of the 2018 Aquaba African Travel Markets, which took place at a co hotel in Lagos. <laughs> After the flag of the chief host, Mr. Ikechi Uku, accompanied by other dignitaries, went round various stands to see things on display. <laughs> This year has again brought various African countries and travel organizations to Nigeria to network and share ideas on tourism development in Africa. Species over Jarrah Rice competition between Nigeria, Ghana, and the Gambia was next. At the end, Gambia emerged the winner of the Rice Challenge. Nigeria, Ghana, Ghana, puts me and likes you very much. So I really, really appreciate it. And the Jarrah Rice contest has become a worldwide topic. So I'm sure that it's going to trend for the next one for Jarrah Rice. And I do wish all of you um, good luck. From a co-hotel, some Aquabas participants proceeded to Oriental Hotel to be part of the unveiling of 2018 Carnival Calabar theme, Africanism. 
those wonderful artifacts you are seeing out there, out there are made by young boys and girls right in the showroom of Mrs. Florence Itagewa, our wonderful and amiable chairman of CCBA. We have four other carnival bands that are replicating this same thing on the road. The 12 kilometer carnival route you see and the dance you see on the road is what we call theater on the move. The industry behind this business is serious business. Our boys and girls have their lives all changed because of Carnival Calabar. We have people that have been engaged nationwide all through Africa today, receiving over 350 people from 28 countries in the last three years yearly for Carnival, receiving about 1.5 million live spectators. Carnival Calabar, as you all know, is not just a platform where we give out audience. We have grown beyond the era or period where we're only proud of capacity crowd activation. What we give out this year and going further is in terms of personal and emotional relevance. So for brands, we promise much more than food falls. Okay, if your interest is in the area of food falls, we want to give you more in addition to that. In addition to food falls, we do not just allow you to connect with the food falls. Coming to Calabar Carnival, it's been one economic strength of our people. I did make a request some time ago that Dubai is not the capital of UAE, it's Abu Dhabi. We should make our own Dubai to be Calabar. <laughs> being the, the most neatest city in Nigeria. Don, Calabar is an international city that is based in Nigeria. The culture is uh, cosmopolitan. So what we do with International Carnival is we try to bring our friends from different countries in the world to come and participate. And the good thing about it is that this year, almost all the countries will want not just to participate, but to bring tourists. So if foreigners are coming to Calabar to participate in the Carnival, what is keeping you, a Nigerian, from getting involved in the Carnival? Is there anybody in this hall that has never been to Carnival Calabar? What do I do to you? Drop you in the ocean? Or lagoon? Which is your choice? So this year, I'm bringing more foreigners to Calabar, and I expect that my friends here will join us. Yes, you. I've seen you there. <laughs> so I expect you to be in Calabar with us this year, to enjoy the wonderful moment. It's one of the most exciting weeks that we have, not just in Nigeria, but in the world. <laughs> discussion on the rule of destination management company and destination marketing organization in sustainable destination marketing took turns during the show. One of the active participants of this Aquaba, we've been coming for quite a number of years in support of regional integration through tourism. 
uh, because we believe the Gambia has a big market of share in the Nigerian travel industry. The Ghanaian tourism ambassador, who is also one of the African celebrities who came to witness the occasion, had this to say. Hey, it's, uh, it's, for me, it's an excellent experience. Uh, walking in this hall made me have this sense of belonging, seeing all Africans here trying to promote Africa. I think it's a beautiful thing. It's the beginning of, one of, it's the beginning of a big league, and I, and I can see this getting bigger. And so it's not really about Ghana. I love the Africanism bit to which we all trying to promote African um, tourist sites. Kwaba also put smiles on the faces of the travel and tour operators for their contribution so far in tourism development. Another panel discussion was on aviation in Africa making progress or in decline state. African Youth Tourism Conference was also part of this year's fair. Here, another discussion took the center stage to deliberate on what drives the youth tourism market. Remember, the question is, what drives youth, the youth tourism market? Is it adventure, is it leisure, or is it entertainment? We're going to get answers to those questions. So you see a lot of pictures uh, from destinations, and of course, a lot of videos too from different destinations. So one of the things, most of the things that drive
Welcome back. I'm sure everyone thought it was Nigeria or Ghana that was going to win the rice contest. But the competition turned out to be the other way around. Congratulations to Gambia for surprising the whole Africa. All right, guys, stay with us. We're actually saving the best for the last for you to enjoy. Enjoy it. I'll be right back. After the networking and sharing of ideas in different areas, tourism lovers and practitioners took a fun trip to Lakey Conservation Center. Hello. How is it? Okay. Our experience in Aquaba 2018 has been a wonderful time. We just finished the longest canopy walkway in Africa. Can you imagine that? I am so excited. And later it was this amazing time at a night boat cruise party. <laughs> That was just a hint. Farm trip to Elysia Luxury Beach Resort was a mind blowing moment for them. The experience they will not forget in a hurry. Amazing. 
welcome back so much fun there for the key players in tourism industry and i'm sure the delegates from other african countries with all that they have seen and enjoyed they have something good from nigeria to go home with and that's how far we can go for this week keep watching splendor think splendor and love splendor i'm your girl glory okon bye for now